Yeah, let's, let's start. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Ahmed al -Nabli. I'm at PM on the Azure App Service. I'm at PM on the Azure App Service team, and I have, have here my partner, Crime Cicera. She's the, basically the developer for all our command line tools. So as you can see, gone in 60 seconds, and we'll try to deploy an app and know the app almost in 60 seconds. But before doing that, let's actually look at what's, what's the current experience. So to deploy a node app to Azure App Service, you need to create a resource group. Actually, you need to know what's a resource group. You need to create one. You need to create an app service. Again, you need to research what's an app service. You need to know, OK, like is it, for node, is it Windows app service better or Linux app service? What size and so on? And then literally know what the command is. And then you create an app and pick the right node version. And then if you use the zip deployment and you have the app and you want like kudo or SCM site to go and deploy it and build it, you need to set an app setting and then zip your content, upload it with yet another command. So five commands, a lot of research, and definitely not 60 seconds. The problem with that is it is cumbersome and it's error prone. So what we're introducing is AZ Web App Up. One command, you give us your code, and basically we'll do the, do the rest. We'll figure out what's the language. Right now we're showing Node, but we have other languages. Okay, Node.js, ASP.NET, .NET Core, uh, Java, static sites. We're bringing that also to PHP. And almost every language that App Service supports will bring that command to you even multi-containers and containers. Uh, the command is you can easily get it from Azure extensions, Azure CLI extensions, using that command. So it's nice that I'm talking, but like demo would actually be better. So handing it over to Cicero. OK. So how do I change this? Oh, yeah. Let's. OK. Yep. Is it there? Yeah. Thank you. OK, so for our uh, demo, all we are going to do is do a very simple Node app. All we have to see once it's deployed is Hello World. So let's get started with the demo. Uh, if I open my command line, and then, so that's to actually run this uh, command, you need to run it from the directory where your code is. So my code is in this directory. So I'll go up and say az web app up. So with this, we actually have something called dry run. So before you actually go and deploy and create your app, we would run a dry run, uh, which needs a name. Let's do Cicero p dash test build app and dash dash dry run. OK, so there we go. This guy will tell you exactly what all is going to get deployed, uh, what configuration is going to happen. So right now, given we don't have a location specified in the command line, we will default to central US. Uh, that's the name of your app. It's on Linux OS. We use a resource group. We create a server farm for you. Uh, the SKU would be standard and all those things, including the version that we are going to, the version of Linux uh, of the Node app that we are going to deploy. So once we do this, all we need to do is remove the dry run, and then we get started. So this goes and sees, oh, you don't have a resource group created. Let me go create one for you. You don't have an app service plan. Let me go create an app service plan for you. And once all this happens, it starts creating the app for you. Uh, and once, let's wait for the app to be created. You can see that it uses the name that you've provided. Once it's created, it sets up the app settings that one that Ahmed was showing for zip deployment, for build to happen after you uh, deploy. It goes ahead and sets that app setting for you. And yeah, I'll, I'll go and blame Azure Resource Manager for all the slowness. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it should be faster. You're waking up a Kudu site right now and trying to do some stuff. So that's one step that takes a little bit longer. So while this is actually going on, the one thing about this command is it will figure out 
which uh, OS for your app. So for example, you're doing an ASP.NET. So we'll actually go and create a resource group and create an app service plan, which is Windows. We, like, we, we will pick the best thing for your app to run. And that's the whole premise. You give us the code, we'll analyze it, and then go and deploy it to the right place. Okay. Okay. So it's actually zipping all the contents right now um, in your directory to go and deploy. They're preparing it. It's going through the uh, deployment process right now. So all that that's being printed right now is actually coming from the SCM site, which handles the building of the app. So it takes the zip file, unzip it, build the app, and make sure it's actually running. So it's doing the deployment. The SCM site actually creates a, script, a deployment script yeah. for you and then runs yeah, it. So it's once it's done, you'll notice that from the dry run, the one thing that is different is will actually give you the, the URL. So we can go back to it and try to do the launch it. There you go. So yeah. if you want to go redeploy uh, the same app again by making some changes, then all you do is go back here, save your changes, and then go back here, rerun the same command. You'll notice that when it starts to redo this, it will skip the process of creating the resource group and everything because it knows that you already have all these created. Yeah, the idea is it's not only about the first deployment. It's also like you keep changing your app. And you need still that same experience, the, the simple experience to deploy these changes so that your code gets up and running as fast as possible and with less hassle, like the least hassle also. So. Especially if you're new to app service and you wouldn't know anything about resource groups and app service plans, this is a quick start for that we are, we are actually, uh, it's actually only av available for you to use. So it's done. So let's go and refresh. There you go. So that was our demo. So do you want to try a React app? We still have time. We can try the React app. So bear with me. Um, I went through these all, all the basic steps of getting a React app created. Um, it's over here. I went through the whole s stuff. So now I would do is do, I think it was in my app, and then go back and run this. I'll call it uh, build React. I'm not going to do a right run. I'm just going to go ahead and run this guy. So this is just a, a simple React app that we already built. We created the app using it, it, uh, React yeah. CLI. So. so you can see here as well, it's, it's going to reuse your resource group and app service plan. So it skips through those steps, just goes and creates your app, updates the app settings again for this app. While this is being done, if anybody has questions, uh, we can yeah. actually answer some questions to yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean to say that you, your tests fail? No, actually, that's a good point. We do not have support yeah. for that right now. Uh, we so do sorry. plan to improve can on all these things. The oh, sorry. The question was that uh, what if uh, I go push my app, but some unit tests are failing? So actually, I shouldn't have pushed the app because you know my tests are failing. So will you handle these cases was the question. So the answer is no. Right now, we don't have it. Uh, but we are planning to actually support other kinds of deployments. And that's one thing we'll take into uh, consideration when you do it when you're doing actually different kinds of git uh, deployments and stuff okay. so uh, the one thing to note here is based on the number of packages you have the the build takes a little bit of time uh, the react app is a, has a lot of packages in them so it's going through all that does anybody else have any questions yes
So, right, so zip deployment right now takes care of that. It, uh, when it actually goes and uploads it, it only takes care of the files that have changed. Great. Oh, sorry, you had a question too. <laughs> That's okay. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. This. Well. Okay, let's let's actually while this is you going can, you on, can let we it can run. go back here. Okay, so what are we trying to basically do with this? So again, we want to have it for all languages and app services. We want to have it uh, for container apps, whether multi-container or uh, like single containers. We also want to bring it to Azure Functions and extend the support for slots, making slots creation, swapping. Uh, much easier. The thing is, we actually want you to give us feedback, and we can like just open issues, uh, send send to us over Twitter or email. Tell us what you want us to do for this for this command, and we'll actually go and do it eventually. Uh, we can't promise right away. So uh, while this is going, so other sessions for app service tomorrow. There are three sessions talking about. Uh, Azure authentication, containers, and a, the great experience about how to make your app up and running and diagnosing your app. So uh, the thing is, the one stop for everything command lines app service, just go to this link. And if we can actually go to it's, this link. Yeah. yeah, especially if you have any feature requests so like you had asked. Uh, these are all open source GitHub projects. So feel free to file issues on us. Um, yeah. And oh, uh, can you take it back to that slide later on? They want to get yeah. a picture of the uh, URL. Okay, here we go. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you'll find links for the repo, where to to, to open issues, our our blog post, not only for CLI or the Azure app uh, web app, also for Azure Functions, and for PowerShell. Yeah. And given these yeah. are all open source projects, if anybody's interested in uh, contributing, you're more than welcome to do that yes, as well. Definitely. OK. And then so. let's go back to that and see what happened. Uh, this is still going, still going on. Well, yeah. but trust me, it'll finish. <laughs> trust yes. me, it'll deploy. <laughs> yeah. Because I did try it earlier on. Uh, but anyway, uh, and then we had something else to show. Yeah, Sorry. this is the app after it gets deployed. So that's how it's supposed to look. Yeah. Um, and then I want to quickly show you that it was all created as from yeah. the portal as one place to show that. Uh, and then. Yeah, and again, all the links are up there. Feel free to send us emails, Twitter messages, open issues. We're here to help you. So, yeah. And obviously, uh, yeah. please do the okay. evaluation, please. Oops. Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. Where is it? OK. So it's OK. Go on. Like the last one. Did we lose okay. it? Again. Please don't don't forget to do the evaluations. Your feedback will make us better. So. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, our booth is literally somewhere here, <laughs> and uh, you can come and ask us anything. Yeah, we have two ones: so. functions, serverless, and, and one's Azure, Azure App Service. Um, it's right behind the AKS one. So, yeah. feel free to stop by if you're really interested in to see if this finishes. Feel yeah. free to hang around. <laughs> yeah, we we know it works there. Not. Maybe not here. <laughs> cool. And then, sir, did you still have a question? Yes. It's on the Kudu site. So if you go to our SEM site, you'll find it on our Kudu site, uh, the script as well. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't delete it. Cool. Thanks all. <laughs>